everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am Meg and if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to transform two mini dressers that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And as soon as I found them, I was in absolute love with them. I had to get them. They didn't quite match when I saw them in my workshop, but in this video, you're going to see me make them match because somebody had added a lot of trim and an MDF sheet of wood on top of one of the dressers. So I didn't care at first that they didn't match, but then when I saw all the trim, I knew that I could get them to look alike. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope that you enjoy this video. Here they are they are so cute they don't match at the moment as you can see one of them has trim at the back and some have trim at the bottom so I'm gonna make them match and it's not what I expected so I took the back piece off of the one filled in the holes and then sanded it down now I really love the page wood plastic wood filler which I use quite a lot in my videos if you've seen them before, I really recommend that wood filler. So I'm just gonna sand down the tops to raw wood and I got started on the one that needed the wood filler sanding down. Okay, so I started on the other one and I, I saw this trim on the top and I wanted it off because I want them to match. I didn't think I wanted them to at the beginning, but then I saw this trim and I thought this needs to come off. So I took this off and to my surprise, it was a sheet of MDF and trim around it. I was, I was shocked. I couldn't believe how easy it came off. It was literally just sitting on solid wood. So that had to come off. I'm so happy it came off so easy and then I started to work on getting this outside trim off that was nailed down. All I did was use my putty knife and my hammer and just knocked the putty knife into or underneath the trim to get it off. And some pieces, unlike this one, does, does come off quite easy. Now make sure that when you do take this trim off that you put it somewhere where the nails or if there's nails left in that you take the nails out. So I started to take these out, which was quite satisfying actually. But I took these nails out, because you don't want those sticking up, and be careful with the trim if there's any nails in there as well. So as you can see here, I thought I would give you a, a show or a look at what they both look like now. So I also saw some trim on the bottom of both of them and I took started to take those off. That one has a long piece of trim but still wooden buttons on the bottom. So the previous owners or somebody decided to put trim over the screw holes but you can put wooden buttons here and they probably didn't know that. So I took all the trim off so that I could get both of them to match plus I really didn't like this extra trim on there. So I was able to get all of that trim off the bottom and now they both look exactly the same. After I've done all that, I had sanded down that other top, covered them in plastic, and then taped up all the sides of the drawers because I'm leaving the drawers in when I spray paint. Once all that was done, I started to spray the gray primer. Now this is the first time that I'm using this primer. It's called Zinzer Bin 123 Gray Primer. I always use the Zinzer White Primer and I went to Lowe's to get this tinted because it says tintable. And the guy at Lowe's said to me, wait a minute, we have gray primer. I was like, what? <laughs> I did not know that. I don't know why I didn't know that but I, it made my day. I was extremely happy. And my opinion on this product is, I love it. It had great coverage. It covered up bleed through. It stopped bleed through, I should say. And I just, I love it. It, it sprayed so nicely. I did add a bit of water. You can see all that in my Wagner sprayer video as well, where I add how much water I add to the paint or primer especially if it's thicker. 
So overall, love the gray primer. And I had primed the, both of the entire pieces after I had scuffed, sanded them, which is normal prep that I do. Cleaned them both with crud cutter. That was also another product that I had first used and love it. So scuff sanded, cleaned, and then primed. And I'm using my Wagner Flexio 5000 sprayer. Here's what they both look like after the first coat of gray primer. And then I added the wooden buttons, which you can also get at Lowe's. I will put them in my description. And then I had sprayed my second coat of gray primer. Now here I'm spraying all the hardware. The little tiny knobs are original. The cup pulls I bought new from Lowe's. And I sprayed them with the Rust-Oleum spray. So this is the second coat of gray primer and I am sanding in between every single coat. So primers I sand with 400 grit sandpaper, making sure that there's a really smooth finish for the next coat. My bad, my mistake. This is the second coat of gray primer. So once all of that had been sanded smoothly, I went over it with a lint-free cloth just to get all that dust removed. And I had gotten all of the wooden buttons, as you can see, into those holes and then sprayed them so that they were also covered. I just, I love how they both match perfectly now. And here is where I start to spray the color. This is Country Chic Paint, which is my go-to paint that I used on mostly every piece. And this is cobblestone with a little bit of pebble beach in it. So it's a dark gray with a little bit of lighter gray in it as I didn't have enough. But co mostly cobblestone, I would say but sprays beautifully, great coverage, and love, love how, sa how smooth the paint is once sanded. Here's just a closer look of me spraying in normal speed because this paint sprays so nicely with my Wagner Flexio 5000 sprayer. And again, you're going to, if you're doing this this way or brushing your paint on, always sand. So with the paint, I sand with 600 grit sandpaper and then 1000 grit sandpaper or a sanding block. 
So I had hurt my back while doing this. Um, I didn't hurt it doing this makeover, but I did hurt it a day or two before. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know the story behind how I hurt my back. I share lots of behind the scenes there. So here I am spraying my top coat. I'm trying to go very carefully and not move so much. And again, you can see how I spray top coat in my other video for my sprayer. Top coat that I usually use, actually mostly use, is Country Chic Pink Clear Coat. So it's time to put on the hardware that I had sprayed in the Rust-Oleum spray. And it's starting to look amazing. I'm really happy with how these turned out. And I'm actually keeping these so they're staying in my home. And remember to take off all the tape. I love that trick of putting the tape on the sides so that you're not getting any paint on them. And that way you get to keep your drawers out a little bit while spraying. And here they are. They are so cute. I absolutely love how they turned out. I lined the, paper, the drawers with paper. It's peel and stick paper and I think it gives that extra touch to these dressers. They are so cute and I can't wait to get them into my home. So I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that it gives you some inspiration to start your own projects and your own dressers or any piece of furniture that you have in your home or that you can find on Facebook Marketplace. So I hope that you subscribe to this channel. I hope that you liked it and let me know in the comments what you thought about the dressers. I also have been showing a little sneak peeks and I do show behind the scenes on my Instagram page. So don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and you'll see a lot in my stories. And on Monday next week, I am joining a group where we're showing summer recipes. I know that has nothing to do with furniture, but it's fun. It's something different and you get to see more of me <laughs> and my page and my work on my Instagram page. So have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and join my Instagram page. Take care and have a great day.